everyone, welcome back to Hotline Topics. The baby mama of Funga Kindle Bilu's husband, Mela, has attacked the star actress yet again. Since the beginning of this drama, Funke has stayed mute on social media platforms and not reacted to any allegation. Both her stepson and the mother of her stepson have come out to attack her. And her husband, even though her husband took to his own official social media platform to calm things down and state that things were good between them. But then immediately did this, Bella attacked her baby daddy and accused him of being pretentious. This was exactly what she said. Or you parade yourself on social media presenting with fake piety to be the main character in an inspirational story. The son that she assaulted and inflicted grievous bodily harm upon is still recovering from his physical injuries and mental trauma. Fathers take their sons to a hospital. They don't put them there. Abdubelu, aka Jesus' excuse. You can try to figure it on social media, but we will not let the truth be forgotten. And she went ahead to release the medical reports on her social media platform. Then Mela went ahead to demand a public apology from both Funke and her husband, or else she was going to release the video of Abdul beating up his son. And she said, Abdul and Funke, we've already asked you to keep your dogs at bay and issue a public apology. Stop with the continuous slanderous slang, otherwise the next law will be the video of you beating your son, Claire. To all our supporters, we didn't want any of this. We thank you. But then I just asked her that since it was her baby that he would beat up the son, why was she dragging Funke's name into this? Well, Funke still maintained her calmness. Or rather, she shared a photo of herself at Amen Estate and went ahead with her daily business. Underneath Funke's post, many people were praising her for her composure. And this, of course, upset the baby mama. She went ahead to screenshot one of the news reports, which had commented on how Funke Akindele completely ignored her husband and the baby mama's drama. And she said, your queen and more did not ignore. She attacked my 17 years old son with nasty, distorted private information. And FYI, this isn't drama. This is trauma. So Mela is accusing Funke of being the one who leaked the private information about her son. It was after the news of Funke's alleged marital crisis was circulating that the steps commented on this and accused Funke of being a horror to live with and being a totally different person for what Nigerians knew. This was when information about him got leaked to a blogger tossing say over them. And according to the source, it's someone who works for both Funke and her husband. The person claimed to have insider information. I was here to leak to the public that the boy was just suspended from school after he was caught doing drugs. And he was also suspended from another school trying to rape a girl. And then he got expelled again just recently, this April. He was caught all drunk. With his classmates, he gave them alcohol. And the person also claimed that he had been on drugs since he was 11 years old. The person said he was a mully. So Mela is accusing Funke of being the one who leaked this information to the public. And now she's tackling Funke and saying that she shared a distorted private information. Well, currently, Mela has not spewed the real information, even though she's saying the ones going around are the distorted ones and Nigerians are reacting to this. They are standing on the fact that whether it was distorted or not, the son was into drugs, the son was wrong and the father was correcting him. Here in Nigeria, beating up your son is not an assault. And these are some of the reactions of Nigerians. What is Funke's own in all this? The silent treatment is paining her. Silent treatment, they pay in pass, engage in a fight, learn from Funke. The father of your child hit your son, but you're attacking his wife. Make it make sense. Hey, Josh, you know, get more than one picture. Well, for those who are asking if Mela has another picture, because this one makes her look like someone who is a troublesome person. This is the only single clear picture she has on her profile on Instagram. Does not really have much pictures on her Instagram. So. Madam, rest. Funke won't reply you. Stay away from Boligamo's family if you can. Nigeria, my fool, I'm a big. Chibi, this is the nonsense parenting we're talking about. The no bitch that became. We are safe. I think Funke will not answer you. Well, the social media user, it's Tina, had a different opinion. And she commented, you all need to stop messing with people's kids, even if you're the dad. If that woman raised the ball on her hole, you better not be treating him anyhow. Understand where she's coming from. 
If the boy did wrong, instead of beating him, the dad should have called his mother and she would have dealt with him. This sounds like a hot mom trying to get some kind of justice for her son. You don't know what she went through to raise him. This was what she commented. Another person, Andre Precious, commented, Silence is golden. Teddy Porch. Funke is a queen amma. Baby mama should go and help transformer. Honey down. No Funke Akinde lives and that will be tolerated. Azonta Chizoba. Have you had my auntie Funke? I pray for her. Whatever she's passing through in her marriage, may God see her true in Jesus' name. Amen. I really love her. Janet Dawson also commented, What did she want if? Alipa Choki this. This is a picture looks troublesome. Intentionally 15. Make this woman rest if the only place like mother like son possessed hope yeah boy please rest time cattle one woman looking like crack at it a destito ali this woman while is becoming too much make she rest this one in blue pepper is okay and the lady ulo denibo commented you just want to drink from okay? this kind of imbusif dolly sexy also had that at this stage this woman is not okay Another person commented, please let her stop dragging Funke into this. Blessing it on the but why is her mouth like that? Chin Wei Clifford, it's Funke silence for me. Uncle Shagu, Madame Mabe, go and rest. Then beat us past this when we smile. The Janity, any small thing, all the celebrities go wrong, could they type a queen or more? See Kinsey star, damn, this is supposed to be a family affair. Contact them directly and stop seeking for attention online. Sweezy Worldwide, my auntie won't even talk to this one. She no no genuine. Another person, Yinka Shole Dulu, also commented. So what should the online inners do since y'all refuse to rest? Another person with the handle, Rita08 also added. Just small discipline on top child. They rant like hell. Let's lose. Well, these are some of the reactions on Nigerians. We've come to the end of this episode where JJC's baby mama is claiming that she's not into drama but they are going through trauma and she attacks Funke once again and said that she has attacked her son by releasing distorted private information please subscribe and hit the bell icon for our daily content